I wanted to do something different. This idea of one composer, one program, this is a very strong orthodoxy in the classical music world. And I always grated against it somehow. I was looking for something more personal. There's a great uh, Charlie Parker quote which is that first you need to learn all the scales, then you need to forget them. So there's something about breaking rules. You need to know what rules you're transgressing. You need to know exactly where the line is so that you can step over it. And then to be aware and conscious of the fact that you are actually stepping over it. So the reason I chose four instruments is primarily because of the massive variety of colour that that gives me. So each instrument has a very distinctive sound world. Each one of these instruments offers me very different expressive possibilities. And given that I have a wide range of repertoire, it seemed, uh, it seemed wise to use different instruments. Most composers will leave you a, a set of instructions, more or less detailed instructions. And sometimes it's nice, again, to transgress, to see, okay, these are the instructions, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm not gonna do that because, honestly, it's not my taste. And to feel okay with that is, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's great. It's great to just be in the position where you can, you can just let things go and you can let things flow. I'm interested in something that works in both the micro and the macro sense. So each individual track I think should stand on its own, but there should also be some kind of story. I listen to hugely different amounts of music as well, so that informs how I play. I listen to electronic music and that, that has an influence on my Bach. I listen to hip hop and that has an influence on my Debussy. Eclecticism is inherent to who I am as a musician. That's because I had a period in my, in my life, sort of eight to 10 years ago, where I was deeply specializing in different things. And once I emerged from that kind of deep bath of specialization, all of a sudden, all of these varied experiences that I have in my background, I was able to just combine them and be happy doing that, not to apologize for that. That's led me in some great directions. It's a channeling of all of the, all of the experience, all of the education, all of the, yeah, all of the musical variety that has very fortunately made up my life up until this moment. You do need a certain amount of self-security or not caring what other people think. It's one or the other. I would hope that someone would hear music that I've recorded and immediately think, huh, that's a little bit different. What is that? Why is that? In every track which I've chosen, in every piece of music which I've recorded, I think there is something, something different and unusual and peculiar. And it varies from piece to piece. There is a theme throughout the whole program, but the peculiarity of each piece is individual, I would say.